Hello everybody, welcome. Welcome to this Verbling class. My name is Teacher Amy and it's a Friday for me in New Zealand. Woohoo, Friday. So today's class is a writing class. We're going to be having some fun um, writing today. So if you would like to practice your writing skills, then come along. I think there are a few slots left if you're quick. Um, the topic for today's writing class is um, what I want to be when I grow up. So this is sort of up to you guys to decide what you'd like to write about. You can write about um, what you wanted to be when you were little. Maybe you wanted to be a princess. Maybe you wanted to be the president of your country. Um, or you can write about something maybe in, imaginary, like an ideal job that you would do if you could. Like perhaps you would like to be a travel presenter and go around the world staying in nice hotels and reviewing food in different lovely places. Um, maybe you would like to be a racing car driver, but you just don't have the skills and have never actually driven a race car. Um, whatever you like, it's sort of use your imagination, use your ingenuity today, and we're gonna practice writing with a bit of a fun topic. Um, you can also feel free to make it all up. I'll know, I won't know whether you're making it up or not. Um, so before we get started, just have a little think about um, what you're gonna write about today along that line. And I'm just going to share a couple of pages with you. If you haven't been on Verbling before, if you're watching this from Google Plus or from YouTube, you might be wondering where we are. Um, you can find us on verbling.com. And I'm posting two pages into the Verbling chat box for those of you who can see it. Um, you are very welcome to go and take a look at my Facebook page, um, which I do update now and again. Um, with different stuff, if I find some cool videos through the week, or if I decide to let you know what classes are coming up, I will post some things onto Facebook, and you're very welcome to post things for me. Um, all the other students, sometimes, um, like last week, we had some really great writing, so I um, asked my lovely students if I could share their writing, so you can go along and see sometimes what we've been doing in a class. Um, if you want to find out some particular details about Verbling, how to join in, how to get private tutoring sessions, or perhaps you're interested in finding out more about one of the teachers, then you need to go to the Verbling teacher page, which is verbling.com forward slash teachers forward slash the teacher's name. Mine's Amy G, and you can see that link there in the chat box. You can go ahead, find out all the information you need. If you have any further questions, then just get in touch with the messaging feature, and you can find that at the Verbling Teacher page. So it's a really handy one to know. All right, let's say hello and see if we've got today to write about what we're going to do or what we wanted to be when we grow up. So hello to Raphael. Hello. Hello, Teacher Amy. Hello, Raphael. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. And you? <laughs> I'm great, thanks, Raphael. How's life going? Pretty normal. Uh, nothing. I just stay home today. I did not work and you work studying a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Working my knowledge. Yeah. And yes. And are you good say. at working from home, Raphael, or do you get distracted by the fridge or maybe the TV or your dog? It's relative. Uh, <laughs> it depends on my moods. It depends on how many people are, are at home. Uh, mm. It depends on my lovely dog barking out there. It depends <laughs> on, on the cars of the street and, and the level of noise. It depends on everything. Fair enough. What, was it a relatively but, good day today? Yes, yes. It was a good, good day. Awesome. It was a profitable day, I think. Excellent. Well, I'm very glad to hear it. So our topic today is um, we're going to write about what we want to be or what we want to be when we grow up. I know most of us are already grown up, um, but it's a typical thing that you say or that you ask children in English. And I don't know whether that's true of Portuguese as well, but is when you were younger, is there something that you desperately wished you could be, like, I don't know, an astronaut or maybe a king? I don't want to... Uh... I can't say by uh, in behalf of everyone, but at least I, I haven't that uh, I didn't have that concern. Mm -hmm. I I grew up with uh, with my beliefs, uh, mm -hmm. with my with my wills, like every child wants to has. 
Uh, I just wanted. To, uh, I just wanted to have a had a, a normal life, uh, not uh, play when I have to play, uh, make friends, and mm -hmm. uh, do my activities, study and learn. But I don't know. I, I have the the idea that that uh, that we should let things happen naturally because mm -hmm. we don't. Do, we don't know what will happen next. It's little. We can make plans. We can make predictions, but it's relative. A lot, a lot of things happen throughout our, for our, for our life. So. Better just to know, wait and see. Even, even making plans, it, we must let things go with the flow. But yeah. uh, it's relative. All right. Interesting perspective. Thank you, Raphael. I definitely think a lot of people. Um, take that route, and and then uh, you get some other people who have always wanted to be, you know, a teacher, even from when they were tiny, and then they turn into a teacher, and it's um, I don't know. Maybe because maybe because the teacher is the first person after your mom or dad, your relatives yeah. is the second, so you you identify yourself with them a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably true. Very insightful. Thank you for that, Raphael. Thank you. All right, well, welcome. Nice to see you, as always. Who else do we have here? We have Aldona. Hello. I think. Are you there? Hello, teacher. Hi, Aldona. You've changed your picture, and now I can see your dog and you. Oh, yes, that's me. <laughs> it's very nice. And your dog looks bigger in that picture than the last one. Has he grown? Or is it just a different angle? The second option, just a different, <laughs> different angle. <laughs> All right, so Aldona, what did you want to be when you were younger? Did you have desperate dreams to be a princess or, I don't know, a fairy maybe? No, I wanted to be a doctor. Really? And what's yes. your job? Are you a doctor? No, I'm the teacher. I what teach, change? Uh, physical education. <laughs> so, okay, it's still to do with your body, I guess. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you change your mind, or did you just decide like a doctor wasn't really for you, or too long, too yes. hard? Too I expensive? thought that it was. Uh, no, 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 it was okay, but I was too sensitive to this kind of job because mm -hmm. you must be very. Um, of strong mind to yeah. perform this kind of work, not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fair enough. I completely agree. There's no way I could ever be a doctor. I just can't cope with people being sick. It's too hard for me. So um, I would not be able to do it either. But it's interesting how your perspective changes as you get older. All right. <laughs> so I don't want to be a doctor. Raphael just was going to go with the flow. Let's find out what Lipe, or maybe I'm saying that wrong. Yes, you see, correct. Correct, excellent. Hi, Lipe. Hi, teacher. Hi, Where are you from? I'm from Brazil. All right, nice to meet you. And tell us about what you wanted to be when you were younger. Did you have dreams? Yes, yes, I had dreams. Uh, you know. I would be, I would, I don't want, I'd like to be, when I was younger, uh, a doctor of animals, I don't know. Ah, a vet. Yes, a vet, yes. All right, and um, was that because you just really liked animals? Yes, I, I liked Cool. And what Today, are you now, Lipe? Are you a vet or are you something different? I am doing different things. I am studying human science. You're studying human science? Yes. Okay. And what are your plans? What kind of job would you like? Well, I uh, my plan is change of course. Because I don't like... Uh, I, I, I think that I would I would like, but I don't like my my curse. So you thought 
I want thought to she would like it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So I would do, I want to change for engineering. Wow. All right. So are you still in the process of making a decision, or have you already decided you're definitely going to change? Um, process of decision. Process. All right. Well, that's a that's a quite a tricky decision, I think. So good luck with that. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. All right. We had a we have a vet as well. Um. So welcome, Lipe. And last but not least, we have Carvalho. How, did how, how did I say? How did I do with your name? Carvalho. Carval. No. Carvalho. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, I'll do my best. And um, where are you from? I'm from Brazil. All right, three Brazilians. You've yeah. got no. You've got um competition today, Rafael. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Carvalho. I'm so sorry about my pronunciation. Um, tell us what you wanted to be when you were younger. When I was younger, my dream was to become a football player. Aha! I'm sure that was probably the dream of a few boys. And what happened? Were you good at football? No, I, I, I think I, I can play a good football, but in Brazil it's very difficult to become a professional. Yeah, absolutely. But there are a lot of good players here, mm -hmm. so it's very difficult. So I'm assuming that I'm not talking to a famous Brazilian football player. <laughs> Even if I was, I probably wouldn't know to be honest, because I'm totally hopeless with sport. So, what did? What's your job? I'm a chemist. A chemist? Wow, that's yeah. very different. And why yeah. did you decide to be a chemist? I like this, this field of science. Mhm. Mm I really like it. I like math and physics too. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Well, it's lovely to meet those of you who I just met today. Um, so I'm going to give you guys, if you want to access it, you can go to the Google Drive. It's just a blank document today, and if you want to get the link, you'll see it there now in mm -hmm. the Google chat. Um, so I'm going to give you as, as much time as I can, I think probably about 20 minutes, guys, okay, so that we've got a nice Ooh. amount of time just to read through. Um, and you can decide what you want to write about today. So just have a think about what we've talked about so far this lesson. Um, take your time. You can use, you can set your story in whichever tense you like. All right. So you can start off by saying, "When I was younger, I wanted to be this, but I turned out doing this." You can just pretend that you are still young and write me something about imaginary what you want to be. Anything you like based upon today's general topic, okay? So just have a, um, a think about what you want to write. If you have any questions, just ask. I will be here, um, but I'll just be quiet and let you guys think and write. And if you could all remember just to mute your microphones, um, mm -hmm. then it just makes it nice and quiet for us. So does anyone have any questions? No, everyone know what to do. So you simply, if I just share the screen quickly, I'll just get you started. If you want to write somewhere else on your computer um, and paste it in here at the end, that's fine. So just type your name, Amy. When I was five, let's say, I really wanted to be a ballerina. This isn't true, actually. I never wanted to be a ballerina. And then you can tell me all about that, or you might start off saying, um, I've always thought it would be amazing to be an astronaut, maybe. Off you go. Um, so I'll leave it up to you. Um, just type your name in the document. If you'd rather type somewhere else, that's fine. Don't forget to maybe save it now and again so that you don't lose what you're doing. And I will see you guys in about 20 minutes.
Am I the only one in this on this paper? Um, maybe I'll think. do it for the for the moment. <laughs> if you're if you're self-conscious, just write it um, in another document, and you can copy and paste it back in there at the end if you prefer. It's totally up to you. Okay. Uh, no, okay. I'm in the in this paper, but yeah. there's nobody. That's all right. Some of the other students, Raphael's there. Okay. The other students <laughs> might might just be coming to join us at the end. Okay. <laughs> okay.
just over five or so minutes left, everybody. So try to start thinking about wrapping it up and going over the, the writing just to see if there are any corrections. Teacher. Yeah. When I finish, do I must to type it here in the, the chat? Um, when you've finished, if you could either copy and paste it into the chat or into the document, either of those is fine. I'll put it into the document for you, and then we'll look at it on the screen as we correct it, okay? Okay. All right, that's great. So just go over it carefully, and if you want to change anything or add anything, um, then you've got another sort of few minutes, otherwise we'll correct in a few minutes. Okay, Carvalho? Okay.
Okay, guys. I'm going to see with the Carvalho. Do you want to go first with yours? Are you there? Yes, I am. I, I didn't understand. Why. Would you yeah. like to? Would you like to go first, Carvalho? Be the first one that we do corrections for. Okay, I can be the first. Brilliant. Thank you. All right, this is yours, right? Yes. Okay, so let me just make it a little bit bigger so that we can easily see it. And what I'd like you to do is to read it, please. You you want to read this? Yes, please. Okay, okay. When I was younger, I had a dream. My dream was to become a musician. I really like to play guitar because in my country there are a lot of good guitarists, such as Baden Powell, Lavin de Almeida, Julio Armando Reis, and so on. I think this dream can come true in the future. I know it demands a lot of dedication. However, if I study hard, I can achieve my purpose. In my view, the main difficulty a guitarist can face is related to the fact that always you, your fans will be waiting your past. If you are not able to do that, you can disappoint many people. All right, great work. Um, do you tell me about your guitar playing briefly? Are you in a band? Do you play solo guitar? What kind of guitar do you like? I like to play classical guitar. Oh wow! All right. So, and that's yes. that's I think very technically challenging, right? Yes, yes. And how good are you? <laughs> I I think I I am good. And do you do you um, write your own music or do you play covers or other people's music? Other people's music? I, yeah. I don't think so. So you play pieces that have already been written by somebody. You don't compose your own music. Yes, I didn't compose my music. And I don't have this knowledge. I think. All right. Well, um. It's it's an awesome dream, I think, to become a musician. So let's have a look at your writing and see if we can make some corrections. So when I was younger, I had a dream. My dream was to become a musician. Perfect. Well done. I really, with two L's, I really... Okay. Whoopsie daisy, that's not what I wanted to do. I really like to play guitar because in my country there are a lot of good guitarists such as um, Baden Powell, Lorindo de la Mida, de la Mando Rice, and so on. Excellent. I think this dream can come true in the future. I would say here, I think this dream could, or maybe might, because okay. we're talking about a possibility, okay? Okay. Um, if you say, I think I can do something, um, it's it's, um, I think this dream can come true. Because it's a dream, we can't actually use can. We have to use could or might um, to emphasize the fact that it's a possibility, okay? Okay. I know it demands a lot of dedication, absolutely. Um, normally we start a sentence with however, so here it would be nicer if we put but, okay? Or okay. you can put a full stop and then put however. But if I study hard, I can achieve my goal or goals. Goals, okay. To achieve a goal, okay? The In teacher. my view, yeah. Why, why don't purpose? Uh, good question. To achieve a purpose is not quite correct because a purpose is like... Um, your intention for something. You can't achieve it or not achieve it. It's just there. But your goal is like the end point. So your purpose might be to, um, I don't know, um, what can I give you as an example? So your goal is to be is to be a guitarist and the purpose of that is because you enjoy playing the guitar. Because you enjoy playing the guitar, you want to be a guitarist. So your goal is actually the thing that you are trying to achieve and, and your purpose is like the reason why you're doing it. So you can't actually okay. achieve the purpose, okay? Okay. In my view, the main difficulty with two Fs, 
the main difficulties a guitarist can face. And because we've got difficulties, we need to have this in the plural here. So are related. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah um, are related to. Well done. The fact that always needs to come after the su the subject and the verb. So your fans will always be. Waiting your best. I think here it's better to put something like wanting or perhaps expecting. Okay. Do you know what expecting means? Yeah, I know. Yeah, all right. So waiting is, is a little bit different maybe in, in Portuguese to English. Waiting is sort of implying that you're actually just doing nothing and something is going to happen soon. Um, it's not. It doesn't give the idea of expectation, so you need to use the word expecting in English, okay? Okay. All right. If you are not able to do that, you might or may or will, perhaps. Um, again, this is a thing about possibility, because you're using if, right? It's a possibility. If something happens, okay. then you need to use a kind of conditional um, verb. So you might or you will disappoint. Okay. One S, two P's. All right. <laughs> all right. That was a very lovely start, Carvalho. Do you understand all of the corrections? Yes, I, I do. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Great work. Just um. Well, just I think maybe you need to um, be a bit careful about possibility. Obviously, this topic is all about possibility. So that's the sort of thing that you need to um, use, those types of verbs, when you're writing in this kind of sense, OK? OK. OK, who would like to go next? No volunteers. Are you ready, Aldona? No? Yes. Yep. All right, brilliant. So I'm going to make yours a bit bigger, and then I'm going to ask you to do exactly the same and read it, okay. please. There we go. OK. Um, when I was a young girl, I wanted to say, I always wanted to help, help all, all people in need. So why I decided to be a doctor? I studied a lot to let my dreams come true, but shortly then I realized that I'm not strong-minded enough to perform such a responsible work. While studying, I uh, used to practice some sport alongside. It was usually aerobic, jogging, swimming, gymnastics, etc. This kind of sport was always a perfect way for me to relax and to get rid of all the worries that try to make my life <laughs> miserable. As it increases the level of endorphins in the brain, and as you may know, this so-called hormone of joy never lets you feel sad, depressed, or anxious. Now I pass my amusement for sport to my students, and as I can see, they enjoy doing sport as much as I did it not so many years ago. That's lovely, Aldona. What an awesome thing. Um, all right, let's go through the, some corrections and then I would talk about it for a second. So when I was a young girl I always wanted to help instead of all people we'd usually say everyone or everybody okay mm -hmm. or because you're just talking about people in general you can literally just say people because then mm -hmm. you're talking about those people who are in need okay? okay so that's that's why that's why I decided to be a doctor I study a lot to make because mm -hmm. you're actually in the you're the one who's making them come true. If you let somebody, it's more more like permission or releasing. Mm -hmm. But because you're the one who's actively doing it, you need to say make, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, I studied a lot to make my dreams come true. Um or I study a lot so my dreams would come true. But shortly then I don't think you need to say shortly. I think perhaps um, shortly is referring to something 
in the future from now. So you can't use it in the past. You could say shortly afterwards. Okay? Mm -hmm. Shortly afterwards, I realized. Or soon afterwards, I realized that I'm I'm not strong minded enough to perform such a responsible work. Usually we would say I wasn't. I know that sounds a bit funny because you're still the same person now. Um, but, mm -hmm. but it's because we're talking about a situation that occurred in the past. So I wasn't strong minded enough to perform such responsible work. No ah, uh, okay? Mm -hmm. Um nice really nice sentence. Okay, while studying I used to practice some sport alongside. Usually we um, don't actually say practice in English, we usually just say do. I know it's boring. Mm -hmm. I used to do some sport. And alongside is talking about the actual location, Aldona, like physical location, okay? Usually. Mm -hmm. So um, I would say at the same time, something like that. Um, in my free time, something. Mm -hmm. um, it was usually aerobics, mm -hmm. jogging, swimming, gymnastics, etc. This kind of sport was always a perfect way for me to relax and to get rid of all the worries that tried to make my life miserable. <laughs> I love it. Miserable. As it increases the level of endorphins in the brain, and as you may know, this so-called hormone of joy, you can put this in like little mm -hmm. yes, yes. marks maybe, never lets you. Now this is the perfect thing to use, let, because yeah, it's allowing you, right? It, or it's not mm -hmm. allowing you to feel sad, depressed, or anxious. Wonderful. Now I, um, now I pass my amusement for sport onto. You pass something onto somebody else. Mm -hmm. um, and as I can see, they enjoy doing sport as much as I did. Don't need it. Not so many years ago. Very good, Aldo. No, that was very accurate. Just a few little sort of adjustments, I would say, rather than corrections. Mm -hmm. um, so what's your favorite sport, Aldona? Swimming. Why is it swimming? What's so great about swimming? Because I don't sweat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And apparently swimming is good for like, isn't it good for all parts of your body? Or yes. Yes, it's it is. It's quite balanced. Mm -hmm. yes. That's what I've and heard. It's a very quick way to lose your weight and to burn your calories. All right. Do you swim in a pool or in the sea? No, 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 in the pool. All right. I'm cool. not that brave to swim in the sea. <laughs> we have a lot of swimming in the sea here where I live in Auckland, so to mm -hmm. be honest, I'm a bit scared of doing that, but lots of people like it, so I just wondered. All right, thanks, Aldona. That was very good writing. Thank you. Okay, let's just see if Lipe... Lipe, are you still there? Yes, teacher. I'm here. Awesome. Have you finished your writing? Yes, I, I did. Uh, I sent you... Ah, uh, there we go. All right, I've just seen it in the chat box. All right, so let's do yours, Lipe. I'm going to paste it here, and I'm going to make it bigger, and I'm going to ask you, would you please read your writing for us? Can you see it? I, I will read. Yes, will please. Read. Yep. Sorry. Sorry, the connection's not good. Ah, sorry, Lipe. Okay, would you like me to read it? Okay, I, I can read. I think that I can read now. Okay, go ahead. Uh, can I? Okay, thank you. Uh, when I was six, I liked animals a lot, so then I thought to be an av a vet. Uh, but while I was growing up, I see that it is not what I would be, I would like to be. Well, I began to think other professions, and it become and it come to be an engineering engineer. But I was but I was not totally sure about that, and I started the social science college. 
uh, in fact, I don't think of future doing that. And I, and then I start to think about to be an electrician engineer. So I looked for about about what that profession that really do, and I got security with what I found. For now, I will run behind my dream. Thank you, Lipe. I really like your style. Your very nice sounding style. So let's have a look. We've got some corrections to make. It's a little bit tricky, this topic, because we're using the conditional at times. So let's talk about it. When I was six, I liked animals a lot. So we don't need to say then, just so, okay? So I thought... And then here we can put I would. I thought I would be a vet to indicate the possibility, right? Um... But while I was growing up, excellent, I see, no, I saw, because we're in the past, we've got to keep it all in the past in some sense or another, that is not what I would like to be. So while I was growing up, I saw that what I would put in here, Lipa, is actually, because this is a good word to indicate that you're sort of changing your mind or, or there's a contrast between something, what you thought and what you ended up doing, okay? I saw that actually it wasn't, it wasn't, okay. because we've got to use the past again, um, what I would like to be, yeah, well, I began to think about other professions, or maybe of, you've got to think and then a preposition, so think about something, think of something, okay? Okay. Um, and it became and it and it came to be an engineer. Not it came to be. I began to think about other professions and become. Um, what are you saying? You're you're not talking about actually being an engineer. You're just talking about the idea, aren't you? Yes, yes, yes. So all we can need to say really is I thought of an engineer. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, but I was not totally with one T and two L's. <laughs> <laughs> not totally sure about that. And I started the Social Sciences College. And I started, because you, you don't need to put the, we just put, when we're talking about schools or institutions, just I started university or Social Sciences College with two L's. In fact, I don't think a future doing that. What do you mean by this here, Lipe? You, d you changed your mind, I think. I, 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 I want to mean right that, uh, that I don't think work doing that, work in that. Okay. Ah, there's no um, job. It's too hard to yes. find a job. Ah, okay, so yeah. I don't think there's is all you need. I don't think there's a future doing that, and then it's perfect. Okay. Um, and because you've got that, I would say here so, because it's like therefore, you know, because there's no future, then you started to think about, um, to think about plus I-N-G, okay, to think about being or to think about doing, an electrician engineer, electrical, I think, an electrical engineer, because you need an adjective, electrician is a noun, okay? Okay. So I looked um, for about what that profession that really do. Okay, so I looked for what you need to look for is probably information. You need to look for something. Look for information about what um, that profession actually or really, what I would say here is involves. Or you can't, the profession itself can't actually do something because it's just a job. So you can say the people, what the people who do that profession actually do, or what that profession really involves, okay? Okay. And I got, okay, what's this word supposed to be, Lipe? Scared? Security. Maybe? Um, Frightened? I, I don't know. Fear? Uh... Wait a second. Insurance. Insurance. Serious? Insurance. 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 
safe. Safe. Okay. Yeah, okay. So it's secure. Yeah. You mean secure? Yes. Yes. Um, okay. I understand what you're trying to say. So I looked for information about what that information involves, and I felt secure about. Okay. I felt secure about what I found. For now, I will follow my dream. <laughs> okay. Uh, Run yeah, behind yeah. is a nice one, but we would usually say follow. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, that's Thanks. awesome. Well done, Lipe. Do you understand everything there? Yes, yes. Brilliant. Well Thanks, done. Thank you. thank you for that. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Best of luck with your new Thanks. change of career. Yes, thanks. All right, Raphael, let's have a look at yours. Are you ready to read this to us? Very nicely set out, I must say, today. Okay. Uh, perhaps this is the most asked question in our lives. Since when we start to understand ourselves as people, seeking for role models, examples to follow, either good or bad ones, having to burn our last traits of neurons and synapses in order to get to a plausible answer, and realizing that, truthfully, there is no answer. From my point of view, it's not a matter of what you want to, to be when you grow up, but how much do you want it when you finally discover what you want to be? Because, yes, you find out when the time comes. I'm not saying that you like it. So, above all else, work really, really, really hard. <laughs> However, just, one of, just as one of my teachers at university used to say, there is no free meal. Lots of further questions will come attached to the answer. Have I made the right career choice? How should I feel when I attain my objectives? Or from where should I begin my endeavor? Will everything be all right in the end? And if something goes wrong? And after years and years of hard work, you finally arrive at your oasis. More and more questions start to arise. That's it? Is this my comfort zone? Heaven? Neverland? Have I attained my objectives? It would be better if I had stopped studying and had started my own business, or my rock band, or my ice cream parlor. Why didn't I invest in stock market when I had the opportunity? If I had become a clown, a soccer player, Either way, questions. Regardless of professional, personal, and social aims, with a little life experience I think I have, there is no more straightforward answer to this question than being myself, a good person, friend, son, citizen, lover, engineer, as best as I can be, working hard to issue a positive outcome, learning with my mistakes, living and letting live, day after day, as if tomorrow was the last one. And if you think clearly, in fact, it will be. Raphael, that's awesome. Thank you for sharing that with us. Um, all right, let's go through the English. Not many mistakes in here, just the odd one. So really nicely written, because you've tried to, well, you've just certainly challenged yourself with this. So let's have a look. Perhaps this is the most asked question in our lives, since when we start to understand ourselves as people, seeking doesn't need for. You can say looking for or seeking, okay? okay? Seeking role models, examples to follow, either good or bad ones. Having to burn our last trace of neurons and synapses in order to get a plausible answer. A plausible answer. And realizing that truthfully, there's no answer. From my point of view, it's not a matter of what do you want to be when you grow up. If I was, because we're not actually asking the question, uh, we need to put it in the other way around. So what you want to be when you grow up. Um, because if you, you need to ask it as a direct question otherwise, Raphael. Okay, but because you've got it's not a matter of, we need to put it in a statement form. Um, it's not a matter of what you want to be when you grow up, but how much you want it uh, when you finally discover what you want to be. Because yes, you'll find out when the time comes. I'm not saying that you'll like it. So, above all else, work really, 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 really hard. How 
However, just as one of my teachers at university used to say, I think that was a typo, there's no free meal. <laughs> In English we say there's no such thing as a free lunch, usually. <laughs> Lots of further questions will come attached to the answer. Have I made the right career choice? How should I feel when I attain my objectives? From where should I begin my endeavor? Will everything be all right in the end? And if something goes wrong? That's perfect because you've got direct questions, OK? OK. And after years and years of hard work, you finally arrive at your oasis. More, more and more questions start to arise. That's it. This is my comfort zone, haven, Neverland. If I attained my objectives, it wouldn't be better if I'd stopped studying and started my own business or a uh, rock band. Don't ask me why. Um, we just say, uh, for a band. Um, or you can say, all my own rock band if you want. Or my own ice cream parlor. Why didn't I invest in stock in the stock market? And I had the opportunity. If I had become a clown. <laughs> Um, a soccer player. You need capitals because um, yes, yes. it's questions. <laughs> Either way is two words, okay? okay? Either way, questions. Regardless of professional, personal, and social aims, comma, with. You can't have regardless and then the end of a sentence. You've got to have it with something else coming up, okay? With the little life experience. I think I have. There's no more straightforward answer to this question than being myself, a good person, friend, son, citizen, lover, engineer, as best as I can be, the best I can be. Working hard to issue a positive outcome, learning from my mistakes. Um. Living and let letting live day after day as if tomorrow was the last one. And if we think clearly, in fact, it will be. Very insightful. Thank you, Raphael. That was awesome. Thank you. Um, would you mind if I posted that onto my Facebook page? No, no. No problems. I think it's a very in lovely, insightful answer to the question of today's class. So I'd really appreciate that for the other students. I, I think I think I started asking Kafi about this, this post on Facebook, but never mind. What? I think I was asked for a test for your post on Facebook, but never mind. You ask for a test. A test. A test. A test. A no, just just kidding. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, all of you. I better let you go because we're a little bit late. Um, but take care. Some awesome writing. I hope to see you soon. Uh, have a good weekend. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. 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 Hello everybody, welcome. Welcome to this Verbling class. My name is Teacher Amy and it's a Friday for me in New Zealand. Woohoo, Friday. So today's class is a writing class. We're going to be having some fun um, writing today. So if you would like to practice your writing skills, then come along. I think there are a few slots left if you're quick. Um, the topic for today's writing class is um, what I want to be when I grow up. So this is sort of up to you guys to decide what you'd like to write about. You can write about um, what you wanted to be when you were little. Maybe you wanted to be a princess. Maybe you wanted to be the president of your country. Um, or you can write about something maybe in, imaginary, like an ideal job that you would do if you could. Like perhaps you would like to be a travel presenter and go around the world staying in nice hotels and reviewing food in different lovely places. Um, maybe you would like to be a racing car driver, but you just don't have the skills and have never actually driven a race car. Um, whatever you like, it's sort of use your imagination, use your ingenuity today, and we're gonna practice writing with a bit of a fun topic. Um, you can also feel free to make it all up. I'll know, I won't know whether you're making it up or not. Um, so before we get started, just have a little think about um, what you're gonna write about today along that line. And I'm just going to share a couple of pages with you. If you haven't been on Verbling before, if you're watching this from Google Plus or from YouTube, you might be wondering where we are. Um, you can find us on verbling.com. And I'm posting two pages into the Verbling chat box for those of you who can. Uh, to my activity study and learn. But I don't know. I, I have the, the idea that that we should let things 
happen naturally because mm -hmm. we don't know, we don't know what will happen next. It's little. We can make plans, we can make predictions, but it's relative. A lot, a lot of things happen throughout throughout our life. So. Better just to know, wait and see. Even even making plans, it, we must let things go with the flow, but yeah. uh, it's relative. All right, interesting perspective. Thank you, Raphael. I definitely think a lot of people um, take that route, and and then the, you get some other people who have always wanted to be, you know, a teacher, even from when they were tiny, and then they turn into a teacher, and it's um, I don't know. Maybe because maybe because the teacher is the first person. Um, after your mom or dad, your relatives yeah. is the second. So you, you identify yourself with them a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably true. Very insightful. Thank you for that, Raphael. Thank you. All right, well, welcome. Nice to see you, as always. Who else do we have here? We have Aldona. Hello. I think. Are you there? Hello, teacher. Hi, Aldona. You've changed your picture, and now I can see your dog and you. Oh, yes, that's me. <laughs> My dog. It's very nice, and your dog looks bigger in that picture than the last one. Has he grown, or is it just a different angle? And are you good at working from home, Raphael, or do you get distracted by the fridge or maybe the TV or your dog? It's relative. Uh, it depends on my moods. It depends on how many people are are at home. Uh, mm. It depends on my lovely dog barking out there. It depends on <laughs> on the cars of the street and and the level of noise. It depends on everything. Fair enough. What was it? A relatively but, good day today. Yes, yes. It was a good good day. Awesome. It was a profitable day, I think. Excellent. Well, I'm very glad to hear it. So our topic today is um, we're going to write about what we want to be or what we want to be when we grow up. I know most of us are already grown up, um, but it's a typical thing that you say or that you ask children in English. And I don't know whether that's true of Portuguese as well, but is when you were younger, is there something that you desperately wished you could be, like, I don't know, an astronaut or maybe a king? I don't want to... Uh... I can't say by uh, in behalf of everyone, but at least I, I haven't that uh, I didn't have that concern. Mm -hmm. I I grew up with uh, with my beliefs, uh, mm -hmm. with my with my wills, like every child wants to has. Mm -hmm. uh, I just wanted to, uh, I just tried to have a had a, a normal life. Uh, not uh, play when I have to play, uh, make friends, and mm -hmm. the second option, just that different <laughs> angle. <laughs> All right, so Aldona, what did you want to be when you were younger? Did you have desperate dreams to be a princess or, I don't know, a fairy maybe? No, I wanted to be a doctor. Really? And what's yes. your job? Are you a doctor? No, I'm the teacher. I what teach, changed? Uh, physical education. <laughs> so, okay, it's still to do with your body, I guess. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you change your mind, or did you just decide like a doctor wasn't really for you, or too long, too yes. hard? Yes. Um, I expensive? thought that it was. Uh, no, no, no. It was okay, but I was too sensitive to this kind of job because mm -hmm. you must be very. Um, strong mind to yeah. perform this kind of work, not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fair enough. I completely agree. There's no way I could ever be a doctor. I just can't cope with people being sick. It's too hard for me. So um, I would not be able to do it either. But it's interesting how your perspective changes as you get older. All right, so I don't want to be a doctor. Raphael just was going to go with the flow. Let's find out what Lipe, or maybe I'm saying that wrong. Yes, yeah, you see, correct. Correct, excellent. Hi, Lipe. Hi, teacher. Hi, Where are you from? I'm from Brazil. All right, nice to meet you. And 
Tell us about what you wanted to be when you were younger. Did you have dreams? See it. Um, you are very welcome to go and take a look at my Facebook page, um, which I do update now and again um, with different stuff. If I find some cool videos through the week or if I decide to let you know what classes are coming up, I will post some things onto Facebook and you're very welcome to post things for me. Um, all the other students, sometimes um, like last week we had some really great writing so I um, asked my lovely students if I could share their writing so you can go along and see sometimes what we've been doing in a class. Um, if you want to find out some particular details about Verbling, how to join in, how to get private tutoring sessions or perhaps you're interested in finding out more about one of the teachers then you need to go to the Verbling teacher page, which is verbling.com forward slash teachers forward slash the teacher's name. Mine's Amy G, and you can see that link there in the chat box. You can go ahead, find out all the information you need. If you have any further questions, then just get in touch with the messaging feature, and you can find that at the Verbling teacher page. So it's a really handy one to know. All right, let's say hello and see if we've got today to write about what we're going to do or what we wanted to be when we grow up. So hello to Raphael. Hello. Hello to Jeremy. Hello Raphael, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. And you? <laughs> I'm great, thanks Raphael. How's life going? Pretty normal. Uh, nothing... I just stay home today, I did not work and... You work Studying a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Working my knowledge. Yeah. Um, yes, 